Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. I hope you're doing really well. Strange start to the morning to be honest. One moment, let me put you on a tripod. It's just gone 10 o'clock. I've just been to the gym this morning, but my session was really bad. I am so sore from Friday and my session was all body weight today and I just, I couldn't. My body is in pain. I feel like I need to do um, some stretching and some yoga instead. So I'll probably do that in a moment just because my back and my shoulders, it's crazy. But I've come down to my mum's because last night, me and Sam started watching, I don't know if it's called Minimalism or The minim Minimalist, that's really hard to say. What a beautiful day, the sun's just like beaming in. Can't really see to be honest. <laughs> we started watching that last night. I love anything like this just because I'm quite messy. It has got better over the years for sure, but my brother suggested to watch it and the, we watched a new one on Netflix. I think there's two, there's one from 2016 and there's one from 2021 and it says like less is more and it's got an orange background so we watched that one last night they do ramble on a bit but it's just really interesting they have a lot of people talking about how they started to embrace minimalism in their life and it's something that i'm really interested in at the moment me and sam share a bedroom in his parents house they have a three-story house and we have the downstairs toilet and the downstairs bedroom which is amazing and it's so kind and it does still feel like we have a lot of privacy, but obviously it's gonna be lovely when we can have our own actual space. We always discuss about when we have a house and we say that we want it to be very minimalistic, very simple. We wanna have very neutral tones so that when fashion does go in and out, we're not, it's not too extreme. We don't have to change too much. And I love this idea. I love it because I am much messier than Sam. And I also get really bad anxiety. And I remember one of the first therapies I ever had, my therapist said to me, are you messy? And I was like, yeah, I'm really messy. And she was like, okay, you need to start taking tiny, tiny steps to start changing this because if your space is really cluttered, you're gonna feel mentally cluttered. So the, the one thing that kind of stuck was just making my bed. And I know we've probably all heard this now. I have therapy quite a few years ago. So I was like, okay, I can do that. And that one stuck because in my head, if I didn't make my bed, I was gonna like have a panic attack or have anxiety. So that one stuck and that's really nice. Sam will wanna tidy everything before he goes to bed and everything's really neat. And he often does tidy a lot of my stuff. It's not excessive to him. He thinks it's ridiculous. But what I was like before, like when I was in college, I just had stuff everywhere, all over the floor, all over the chairs, just, it was madness. So that's changed a lot. But we finished watching this documentary last night about 1 a.m. And my brain was like, I wanna tidy, I wanna sort my stuff. So I went through a load of my things in Sam's room. Because we have a small room, we don't have that much stuff. So it's quite nice that we have one chest of drawers and one wardrobe with both of our stuff in. And there wasn't that much to sort and I only sorted a tiny little Sainsbury's bag. It's like this big for stuff that I'm gonna donate to the charity shop today. And I also had two piles of clothes, which I want to pop on the Vinted app because I've decided if I'm going to buy clothes, which I don't very often, but if I am, I'd like to buy them from Vinted because they're secondhand and way cheaper, way, way cheaper. There was like Levi denim jackets for 20 quid. I was like, what? So I'm going to pop some of my stuff on there. If they haven't gone in a month, I'm going to just donate them as well. But hopefully I can try and make a bit of money. If I can, I'm trying to save up for a new camera rather than just using my phone. So that would be fun if I can put some money towards that. I have a room at my mum's house as well, which is why I'm here. I have so much stuff in that room. I have all of my college art stuff, which is, is kind of sentimental, but a lot of it is just rubbish. Like that needs to go. I have so many clothes, so many shoes here. I just want to sort that out and get that gone. My car's, my car's messy, but it's messy with like my hairs and dog hairs. It's not like it hasn't got that much stuff in. I've sorted that out anyway. That just needs a wash, which I'll do on payday. Before I head home, I'm going to show you some of the things I'm going to put on Vinted in case you wanted any of them. I normally wear a size 8, but obviously every shop's different. So this is an O-Poly dress. It really doesn't look as nice as it does off, as it does on. I had to get a size 10 because it's really quite tight and it's quite short. Um, but it's absolutely lovely. lovely. It's really heavy, like silky material. And it has a scrunch bum, so it's really flattering. 
um, I think it was about 50 quid and I've only ever worn it once so that one's gonna go up um, then I have this cord dress which I love it's like a dungaree dress looks a bit bitty um, I think this is really nice winter and summer you can wear like a turtleneck in the winter and then just like a t-shirt in the summer then I have this white dress I think this is from a red dress I think this is from pretty little thing it goes down to about your knee it's really thin and light I love high neck stuff especially if you don't have any boobs it's quite flattering but I just never ever wear red don't know why I bought red things and then I also have this Abby Clancy dress that's also in red but this is midi much smarter it's like it's very very dressy high neck really flattering again I'm probably going to put all of these up for about a fiver. The O poly one I'll probably put up for a bit more just because that's relatively new. But there's some of the things I'm going to put up. I also have some amazing leopard print flares, which are going to go on too. I love those, but just never wear them. And then I also have a little pair of heels, size four, and then like a little school skirt. I just can't wear skirts because my waist is quite small and my hips are absolutely huge. So just I can't get away with it. I've just arrived in to Cheddar and it took me the most gorgeous route. There was traffic, so it took me on a diversion. And I went through this place, I think it was called Kristen. Oh my goodness. If you if you like country lifestyle, if you've been brought up in the country, or if you've been brought up in the city and you just want to live in the country. I am based in Somerset and I swear we are so lucky. It is absolutely beautiful but i just drove through this tiny little village everyone seemed shocked that there was even a car driving through it was so beautiful little cottages flowers bluebells tulips oh it was just so stunning and then there was fields just looking over for miles and miles of just green grass and as i was driving down there was loads of horses so i had to stop i also seen sheep but i was on a bit of a awkward road to stop <laughs> as soon as I see an animal when I'm driving I just like pull over and I get out and I'm like hi can I come see you but these horses were so gorgeous anyway I'm in Cheddar because that's where my nail tech lives um she works from a garage in her house and it's stunning but it's time for these nails to come off they're a little bit overgrown currently so I'm excited for a little switch up but Steph's amazing. She's been doing my nails, I'd say, for like the past year. And these are my own nails. Bearing in mind, I groom dogs, so my hands are in water all the time. And they stay like this. She's a genius, I swear. So we will see my nails in a bit later. <laughs> This French onion soup recipe is insane. I'll link it below. I feel like all I do is cook, but I, I really enjoy cooking. It's so good. It looks disgusting because it's brown and I've used red onions, so it's gone like a really dark color, but it's so good. I can't wait for Sam to try it.
Good evening everybody, I've just had a shower and I'm waiting for Sam to get home, it's about half past eight. So we're going to be eating super late, but I'm just letting my French onion soup sit so all the flavours like go together and it's going to be really, really tasty. And then I'm going to start my pasta bake in just a minute, but I'm just going to moisturise because my face feels really tight after the shower. Um, this is like my favourite moisturiser ever. Number seven, Intense Protect and Perfect. Not sure if this has SPF in. I think the day, the day cream does um but i'm just gonna pop some of this on before dinner i can't remember if i showed you guys my nails i don't feel like you can see it very well but there's like tiny specks of glitter but i don't think my phone camera is picking it up i'm literally obsessed with them they're like a little pink french manicure and then it's got glitter base it's so cute oh just use the same make protect and perfect advanced eye cream it says suitable for sensitive skin i don't think it is because i use this on sam he has really sensitive skin and he literally had a rash all over his face so i actually don't think that's suitable for sensitive skin i'm like religious with my um moisturizing now because now i'm 25 i'm like i'm actually getting old I think I'm also going to put some of the ordinary retinol on. I don't know if I can put this on after moisturiser. These serums, but before heavy. Oh, I probably should have put this on before. I did it last night. Um, but yeah, I've just got a retinol oil as well. I think it's for wrinkles and things. So let's just prevent them as much as we can. Someone who was saying the other day that you're supposed to keep your moisturizers in the fridge i've put mine in the bathroom now so they feel quite cold already but i think when we have a house i'd like a little fridge for my skincare i haven't done this for ages bex actually got me this i think this um rose quartz was from the white company it's really lovely So I'm just about to end my evening with hot drink. I normally have a nighttime tea by Pucker, but I've just got a normal cup of tea today in one of my heart mugs that Sam got me for my birthday, which is cute. And then I'm going to read some of my book before bed. And I'm, I'm reading The Four Desires at the moment, which my acupuncturist gave me. And then I'm going to get some sleep ready for work tomorrow.